Viondi Riches Award was presented to him by Parliamentary Representative for St. John Alvin Dabrio during his school's assembly on Wednesday. Actions like this is what exemplify good human being because he would say that he just was there and he did what, you know, he just did, did something. But it goes deeper than that, right? The fact that he was watching the water, he was being observed, right? And he was showing that he cared for the people around that were participating. And uh, this, we're very proud, we're happy that you have done that, you have saved a life, which is something marvelous. St. Rose Modern Secondary student spoke to GBN about last Saturday's incident, saying he was swimming on the lands in Guelph St. John when he saw a child in distress. The 13-year-old explained that at first he did not think she was in trouble and thought she was able to swim, but he said his instinct kicked in when he noticed she was face down in the water and not moving and sprung to her rescue. Richard says the eight-year-old girl was not breathing when he brought her to shore. That's when Daniel Joseph got involved in performing CPR on the child. Young Richard explained to GBN why he decided to help. I was sure and the girl was um, going outside. And first, I didn't know what was happening. So I thought she could have seen, so I just leave her for a little while where she float. So when I see her start to float up, I just go for a razor and I bring on through. Um, I wasn't scared. I was really I'm um, go for because I don't care about my life. I only care about she's because she's younger than me. Numerous calls to reach Naidandu for a comment went unanswered. The eight-year-old is said to be the daughter of homicide victim Lennon Marshall, who was killed last December in Guelph. Viondi said he did follow ups on the eight year old and she is doing well. He leaves this advice for beach goers. Keep an eye out for anything. Christina John, GBN News.